sunny day, there was a man who was paddling his canoe all the way from the south of Lake Okanagan and passing through Squally Point. He did not pay attention to where he was as he entered the waters of Squally Point. He was paddling along, singing a song, having a great time. And the man realized where he was, but it was too late. Suddenly, the clouds moved in. And the strong winds began to blow and the waters became angry and intense. And the man realized where he was, but it was too late. The water and Nahaitik pulled the man and his canoe under to the bottom of the lake. Nothing was left. The man was gone. The canoe was gone. The people eventually found the man's canoe under a small lake, miles away from the big lake. But the man was still nowhere to be seen. Much later, the people found the man on the west side of the big lake. This gave testimony to the underwater caverns and tunnels that the people believed connected all of the smaller lakes to the big lakes. Nahaitik must have traveled through these tunnels and these caverns and, and dropped the canoe off in one lake and the man off on the big lake. The man shared his story with the people and why he was pulled under. The man realized that Nahaitik was a creature to be respected. Nice work. So I have to ask you, are you ready for your next assignment? What's next? Thank <laughs> you. 